Welcome to Computer Design. This video will give you some tips for using Windows 10. When you log in, this is what your screen might look like. You're going to be using Google Chrome as your main browser. So I want to point that out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to go ahead and click on that for searching and you're going to type in Chrome. Now there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to pin it to my taskbar. Notice it ended up as a quick shortcut. So you can grab it when you come in to go do projects for computer design. We're also going to go ahead and type in Firefox and I'm going to go ahead and right click and I will also pin that to the taskbar. There will be times where we won't use Chrome and I encourage you to use Firefox. We're now going to set up Chrome as a default browser. To do that, go to the Start menu in the bottom left corner of your screen. Choose Settings. When this loads, go ahead and choose System. You will now choose Default Apps. For email, go ahead and click down and choose Google Chrome. Do make sure that you choose Windows Media Player for music. We'll go ahead and leave photos alone. For video player, click on video player and you're going to choose Windows Media Player. For web browser, you're going to click down and choose Chrome. With those settings set up, you're now going to make a shortcut to type to learn on your desktop. You will be using that program to practice your typing. So you're going to go ahead and click on the folder in the bottom, choose this PC, and you're going to open up your public drive. You also could have just chosen public right here. So I'll go ahead and open up the public drive. I will open up the TTL folder and I'm going to scroll down until I reach this type 32. Do not drag it to your desktop. If you drag it, the program will not work. So right click, choose send to, and then choose desktop. Go ahead and close that window now to practice your typing. Go ahead and open up Type to Learn on your desktop. When this window loads, go ahead and choose any student. Whatever you do, do not add your name. So you are very important. You can't add your name. There's a reason for it. Trust your teacher. So I will click any student. See how it says add your name? Don't add your name. Just click OK. Now in the upper left corner there's a green R. Choose that green R and if you're brand new to type to learn and you're not a very fast typer you want to start with lesson one. So I will choose OK and you're going to choose New Frontiers. There will be a voice telling you how to sit and where to put your fingers. So you're going to go ahead and start practicing this lesson. So you press the space bar and get started. Once you finish that lesson, you're going to go to the green R again and start lesson two and so forth. When you're ready to start taking a test in type to learn you choose lesson five, click OK, and choose warp speed. You might want to practice first. If you feel confident and you think you'll do a good job, then you go to warp speed. You start typing as fast as you can. You keep typing until you get to the end and then you hit the enter key and you keep typing. When you are done, a window will pop up. As you can see, my speed is 46 words per minute and 100% accuracy. It's really important that you have at least 95% accuracy or you have to retake the test. You would then click done after you record that speed because that's a really good speed. And then you go back to the green R and you choose the next lesson choose OK and you can either do New Frontiers or Warp Speed. When you're done just close out the window, click Yes. Take note of how you will be recording your warp speeds. You are responsible for writing this down on your own. Notice that all the accuracy is 95% or higher. That Miss Clementi is sure a fast typer. When you're ready to leave the classroom, it's really important that you log off. Do not shut down the system because other students will be coming in. Even if you're the last class, do not shut down. So to log off, you click on the Start menu. You go up to the three dashes at the top, locate your name, and then you choose Sign Out. This concludes the session on getting started with Windows 10 and using the Type to Learn program. Until next time, you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like Miss Clemeni's video. She likes positive energy.